Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to the Not Prawn Riddle. TV's Noah here, smoothie in hand. And today we are continuing our adventure of solving level negative 23. Now, a uh, few things. First, my, one of my neighbors is playing like EDM. So all I can hear is the bass. And when I say hear, it's more of like just feel it compressing against my head. So I don't know if you guys hear it, but it's driving me mad. Second, uh, I wanted to talk about some of the uh, theories we got because we had some really good theories with this from YouTube uh, and I'm going to pull them up uh, right here on the stream. So I'm going to pull up my own videos. So uh, get excited for that, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. And this is just a great tutorial if you only watch my stream on how to get to uh, Plus Two Comedy Gaming. Hey, be quiet. All right, so uh, some some good theories came up in this, so I just want to check these out real quick. Uh, <laughs> someone's just happy to see me. Uh, maybe you use 43 from negative 43 and make 43 and use the negative 23 level number that makes 20 and go to level 20. Not, not quite sure. I think it, he's trying to make it a math problem. Uh, but, you know, two negatives make a positive, so it would be 43 minus 23, which would be 20. Yeah, so the uh, Bob here is asking me to go to level 20. That's something to look at. Uh, and Patrick had the idea of using the number position in level 43 because level 43 is, in fact, a clock. Uh, can confirm from the chat, can't hear you. Oh, can't hear the EDM. Okay, I was a little bit, I was a little bit worried. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, thank you, Peachy. Uh, so, some interesting ideas here as I turn down the ringer. Uh, anyway, to reacquaint ourselves with this level, uh, shush phone. Nobody wants to hear from you right now. Uh, did did I mention that this is? The Napron Riddle, the world's hardest riddle of riddles solved by 70-ish people in about 17 years, and I plan to solve it with nothing but my mind, this yellow notebook, and your help in the chat. Kind of forgot to mention that. In any case, uh, re-evaluating uh, the clues here, if we go into the page source, uh, we see that the name of this uh, image is claim minus minus 43. The idea is two minuses make a positive is something we're kind of playing with. We're trying to figure that out. Um, I, I also had the idea that it's claim hyphen minus 43. I don't know. Uh, the other thing that like we really don't have any explanation for is this. That is such a weird title for this. Uh, it doesn't rot or Caesar cipher to anything. Um, and the dot, dot, question mark, dot, dot is very interesting. I had the idea of brute forcing different letters, and I might try that later if we get super stuck. Uh, so we also had the idea that it wants me to go to positive 43. Um, actually, here's an idea. Have we, have we just like, whoa, have we just screwed with this? Not found, not found. This should be 23, so. None of this is found. Try one more with the double negatives. Nothing there, okay. Also, mathematically speaking, two negatives make a positive. Uh, in terms of multiplication. Uh, I don't know, because this is technically a German, it was created by someone from Germany. I don't know if double negatives are a thing in Germany. Because I know in Spanish, 
uh, the more negatives you add, the more negative it becomes. Like, there's no such thing as a double negative. You just add nunkas to it, which means never, and it just becomes more and more negative. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's just see if I can remember how to get back to uh, level 43. It's somewhere in my my notes here, I believe. Uh, it actually it should be a recent, right? These are not my recent highlights that I want. <laughs> Um, history. A lot of not founds. Whole lot of not founds. Here it is. Time flows. So yeah, this is a, an interesting thought that it is in fact a clock, uh, and we can assume that the clock is right set up because this is. Uh, a thicker line so we assume that this is 12 uh, so this would make the time 115 I don't know what 115 gives us and there was something else that we yeah that we had to change 43 we had to change the small to large. Let's try that. This is a weird idea, but uh... no, nothing there. Okay. No, double negative. No. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, some interesting ideas here. Um, maybe, maybe we should just solve the puzzle and say it's twenty. No. Oh, what could this be? Yeah, and I, I was pretty sure it didn't anagram to anything because it it lacks vowels. There's only two vowels. Uh, it, and we found out that it does anagram to danger sex. And, uh, Peachy, you've solved this already, right? So I can't really ask you for help. Not this puzzle yet. All right, so we're you're a, I'm ahead of you, so you can weigh in if you'd like. Um, I guess we could take a look at level twenty and see if that gets us anywhere. Um, let's see if I can remember how to get to level twenty. Uh, I didn't write that down. Uh, I got my other computer here. Let me double check it and see if I can get us to level 20. We can look at that as well. Uh, but the other computer runs real slow. That's why we don't use it anymore. I'm also going to mute this. Because uh, I don't have a lot of other good ideas. We did do the thing where we zoomed in on this image and we didn't find it. Like we saw like one or two confusing letters uh, or, or what could be deemed letters, but oh, can we zoom in? View image. No, zoom. Zoom. There was like one little spot where I was like, hey, that's suspicious. It kind of looks like letters. Uh, and again, I'm doing this because this is how you solved 43. And when you started the negatives, it did say, like, you, 
you will need the positive levels to solve the negative levels. So, because you could end up in the negative levels by accident right away. Uh, I don't even see where I thought I saw letters before. I feel like they were somewhere on this side of the page. Get real close to your screens, everybody. Hmm. Maybe I was zoomed in more. So, Firefox is up on my other computer. I'm going to try to get to level 20. Hopefully, I still have it bookmarked. Come on, old computer. Don't crap out on me right now. There we go, level 20. Boink. All right, so here's level 20. Uh, death, whoopsie. Deathball.net slash not prom slash windows slash something dot php which is weird uh <laughs> According to the book, crap, the password changed. It's no, oh, I did, I put a space in for some reason, like an idiot. Real unfair. Damn it. <laughs> I don't want to have to resolve it. Oh wait. Oh, thank you. That's not. What, uh, I have on my other computer that it's weird something. Weird unfair. <laughs> I'm getting smarter. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do this wrong maybe? No, I can't get anything. This isn't cheating. I solved these levels already, but uh, they changed the passwords. Nope. Do I have the right web? Oops. Do I have the right website? <coughs> <coughs> there it goes. All right, so this is level 20. Oh, excuse me. Okay, this gives me an idea at least. Because this is wingdings. Perhaps we take this random group of letters we get here and we convert them into wingdings. I don't pay for word. <laughs> I'm a poor man. I already pay for Adobe, <laughs> as you can see down here. Uh, so what I want to do, let me view the page source of this again. And then I'm going to copy this. Because I'm also going to do like the periods and the question mark. Because maybe that's 
part of it. We'll make this bigger so people can actually enjoy this. <laughs> and, oh, that's another thing I actually haven't done. Let me do that for you guys. Sorry, it's been a while since I've streamed these. I watch a lot of Game Grumps. Okay, where is this? Wingdings, please. Hmm. I, I see a lot of the same symbols, which is interesting. But not all of them. So it's to be honest, it's not interesting. It's coincidental. Because, uh, like, this is here, this is here, this is here. But, like, I don't see this H. Uh, I don't see whatever this is. I don't see the omega symbol. Like, mm. Wait. Wait, what's this? What is that? Am I an idiot? Is it right here in front of me? Yeah, it was, it's written right here. X, N, D, R, G, A, R, S, E, N, dot, dot, S, E, N. Is the answer S? I, I said I was going to try brute forcing this, but I think S is a pretty good guess. No. How, should I just... Oh, I, no. Why would I search it on Amazon? For what? Should I just add an S? Claims? No, but like this is definitely right. Like the, the, the plan was we had to get back to level uh, 20. And find this random collection of so this is this is useless. Uh, find this random thing here. X N R. All right, so it ends at N. Or do I take every third letter after that? Like here's the S E N. Then N I S E N N A S E. No, that doesn't make sense. Can I make this bigger? Yes, of course I can. It's a computer. All right, so I'm definitely on the right track right now. Do you think I should just, maybe it's just these random group of letters, like, as the, is the answer? So. Let me just first do this and see if it says anything to me. No. Oh. Putting in everything? All right, let me actually, I'll do the whole thing and then I'll get rid of the gibberish and then we'll come back. I mean, it's all gibberish, but the, the already provided gibberish. We'll put the whole thing in and then we'll delete stuff. Uh, I'm gonna cover the chat for like a second just to make this 
a little bit easier in my life. I love you, chat. <laughs> don't be don't be cross with me. Uh, so it's these letters here. So it's N I S E N N A S E N. I don't know why it got capitalized. A S E N. All right, so let's let's make sure we have it right. This is what we copied and pasted. N I S E N N E N N A S E N. So that's all of it, right? Yes. Okay. Get, no, what, stop. I don't want it to be my homepage. I just want to add it back to this, okay. Welcome back, chat. Come on, baby. I only asked for, I asked for the question only. I tried just putting an S and you didn't want that. Don't. <laughs> But th this at least shows that we're in the right direction here. Uh, shout outs to Bob for the idea of going to level 20. Um, so the break was right here. So we'll get rid of this. Boosh! I don't know what this dance is. <laughs> But here we are, negative. I got too excited. There's booze in this. There's not. Don't ban me, Twitch. It's a joke. This would be a very gross alcoholic beverage. Uh, all right, so I, I'm super just going to check real quick while we're looking at this. Um, uh, with the Discord, because I've already forgotten where I need to stop. If it's negative 24 or negative 25. Uh, so let me take a peek and see what the keepers of the riddle. I just like making it sound like it's a big deal. Have bequeathed upon me. Na, 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 na. Okay, I, I can't solve negative 25. So I, we, we got one more, and then I have to take another not prawn hiatus. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet being here. Bittersweet. All right. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. It's been, a, it's been very wintry here in the not prawn riddle land, I've noticed. Uh, we, all, we, we start with some weird letters up here. That's the first thing I notice. Let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need. Let's uh, view that beautiful page source. I don't like the look of this at all. <laughs> this is worrisome. For number 19, use 12 this time instead of one. For number 20, use caps. One is 18, two is 19, and three is 20. Does it want me to go back through those levels? You have an idea for the first clue? I don't even know what the first clue is. <laughs> uh, and it's called combined negative 24. Combined. Let, let's do the old tricks like we always do. No. Uh, separated? 
Whoa, whoa, no, to whatever just happened. I'm dyslexic. Did I spell that right? No, I didn't. Alright, fixing this. Nothing. Oh, oh, wait, there's a space in there. Nope, not there. Alright, it was an idea. I think it has to. I think we have to go back to the positives as well, which is going to be difficult because I'm, I'm probably going to have to legitimately resolve them. Uh, so it wants me to go to eighteen. Let me pull up my bookmarks on my other computer. This computer has served me well for a long, long time. I already told the story of this computer once on here. Uh, Deathbolt.net. Not prawn. PG, you, you feel free to weigh in if you have thoughts. This is meant to be a collaboration. Final. I don't remember what does my book say it's probably changed uh, according to this I don't think this was supposed to be a passworded level my computer oh what Oh, I get what's happening. Okay. Not found. What the hell? What the hell's happening? I thought it has to do with ratios, since it's the numbers that were formatted, but it sounds too simple. One isn't, yeah. I mean, it's it's one, two, three, and it's 18, 19, 20. Oh, you're right, I didn't, thank you. All righty. I don't remember this. <laughs> Book. Book's not very helpful. This yellow notebook that I had lost was more helpful when it was missing. Right, what is the deal here? Yeah, okay, so it's one of these. Oh. I don't have censorship, Cal, but I'm afraid there might be porn. I vaguely remember that. I don't want to go through it because I know that there's porn. <laughs> and I don't want to hit the porn again. Or prawn. Yes, I remember all of that. Uh, huh. This is a music puzzle. I remember this. I do remember this.
Um, so it was the answer to this. The answer to this. Sorry, going on some more. Uh, the answer to this I have on my other computer, so I'm just going to use that. Stop it. Unless it changed, why wouldn't it change? Everything else is changing. Kids these days and whatnot. The notes spell something. Deaf. Yes, and that's right, it gives me the finger. I remember getting the finger. I remember that. Okay, so, yeah, I actually have that in my freaking notes. Uh, where's my pen? Like, I gotta be able to handle this stuff in my notebook. All right, so, uh, where's my scratch paper? So, deaf is the first clue, or the first answer. And then, according to this, it says, go back to the page source, for 19, use 12 this time instead of 1. Let's resolve 19, gang. Uh, what was I supposed to do here? This is a Caesar cipher. Oh. That, okay. I remember this. Where's my notepad? You were supposed to move one space backwards. Right? So, like, I, maybe on the keyboard? Let me just... Was it... C, I, C, R... See, this doesn't this doesn't feel right. V no. No. It was probably one letter back in the alphabet. A B C D F G H I J K N M N O P Q R S T U V. So it was U N Unusual stuff. Right. But now we have to go twelve letters back. We have to go 12 letters back now. Uh, because it says to use 12 instead of one. So, uh, Jesus, math is gonna be super freaking hard for me right now. Uh, letters to numbers. It's just gonna, like, if I can see that yeah, this will be so much easier with this visual aid. Uh huh. Let's go here. We'll grab this. Control C. Na 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 na. Okay. What what am I doing? I need to do this. We'll paste this here, boom. And then underneath it, underneath it will... Okay, so V minus 12 uh, is 10, which is J. J. Uh, o minus 12 would be C. Uh, like J again. T minus 12 would be uh, 8, which is H. Uh, v again is another J. Why are you being a weird computer? J. Uh, B minus 12 would be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 would be P. Excuse me. And M minus 12 would be 1, which would be A. All right, T, once again, that is H. 
feel free to check my math in case I do something dumb. Uh, U minus 12 would be uh, 9, which is I. Uh, and then we know what V is. V is J again. Uh, and then G twice is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. U twice. There's two G's. There we go. I see you got basically the same thing I did. All right, cool. I want to block the chat for a moment. I'm going to try to put the, this in as the password. Uh, I don't know if I can prop the password to come back up, though. Because I already solved it once to come here. Uh... Uh, I'll open it in a private window so it won't have the memory. There we go. This is interesting. This is a cool idea. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste just so I know I get this perfect. Control C. Control V. I can't move anything right now. Control V. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that should be right. That didn't work. Okay. So we have this. <laughs> so this weird hum that kind of just blew my mind. All right. Get no, we don't just forget about this right now. Okay. All right, so we have def, we have this, and now let's continue on to this. I don't remember how to do this. Uh, this was wingdings related. So I guess just I'm going to try to remember how, because uh, here's the entire keyboard. These are just the letters on the keyboard, and we're going to turn them to win wingdings, and then we'll match them up. Was that webdings? No, this is wingdings. Oh. Oh, I know the problem. Hold on. I had the caps lock on. There are no caps locks here. Wait, but isn't that the clue? For 20, use caps. Wait, okay. The answer to 20 I have is real unfair. Right? Me whoa. Where is my where'd it go? Okay. Let me just see if that is that correct anymore? Real unfair? Oh wait, let me do it but let me do it with caps. Real unfair real unfair all right we need to we got to resolve this i guess this changed too which is madness Unless Peach, you, you just happen to have the uh, the answer to this. I solved it before. I shouldn't have to do it again. So it's 
I'm just gonna copy these, ready? C, D, and then there's a 32 here. And then, well, let's ignore the numbers for right now. Uh, and then it's this, control C. And then it's this. Kappa, and then it's these dark circles, which I don't actually see. There's one. There's two of these. C, B, V. Uh, and then I don't see that, but I see this. I'll copy that over. I don't know why I blocked, I asked for help and then, oh, really unfair? All right. Based on, yeah, I bet this is the word really. Or queely, because I, I copied the wrong box because it's clearly this box, not this one. All right. So let's do it. Caps lock, really unfair. I'm pretty, like, I definitely feel like we're on the right track because Using 12 instead of 1 makes sense for level 19 as instructions. Using uh, unless I'm, do you think I'm supposed to use it with the word deaf? Let's do that. Really unfair. Oh, is that actually still not it? Really unfair. There it goes. Okay. This level's amazing. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, we have the word deaf, right? Because that was the answer to 18. Now let's uh, do the process of shifting it. We're gonna shift it and make a capital and then we're gonna put in wing dings. That's, that's the plan right now. Uh, so back 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. R. Uh, e back 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. S. It's fine that it's gibberish. Back 12 from this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, that's a zero. Oh. <laughs> and finally, F. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. S. So we took it. We shifted it 12 instead of 1. And now we're gonna turn it into wingdings. Ready for what will clearly be an answer? Sun drop, flag drop. Yeah, I was about to say, this, is, this has to be wrong. Yeah, I couldn't, have, why did I get S? Yeah, F should be T. I was about to say, they can't, I couldn't have possibly. Okay. My biggity bad. Now, now I'm sure this will make perfect sense. Wingdings. Sun, rain, flag, snowflake. Are they all things that appear in this? Because there's definitely snowflakes. <laughs> there's kind of the sun. This is kind of a flag. 
I don't see any rain. Or just as another idea. What is really unfair? Whoopsie. Really unfair. And we'll make that into wing dings as well. And we'll see if we get anything out of that. No, nothing interesting there. Uh, if the flag had something to do with fall, they could all be seasonal symbols. Yeah, I guess. Uh, summer. The, they're not in a correct order. Summer, spring, fall. Yeah, that's like that's not how a year works. Well, I'll try seasons. Oops, forgot I had caps lock on. No. Hold on. Am I dumb? No, I'm not dumb. <laughs> I thought maybe there was music here. But this is the same music we always hear. Wow. Oh, uh, big brain here. Got it. Okay. So, at least I think I got it. <laughs> uh, let's go back into this. It's so quiet, I don't even think you guys can hear it. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn up the audio so you guys can hear it. So let's go ahead and save this audio as. Uh, negative 24 audio. Uh, go ahead and throw that directly on the desktop for me if you could. Please, thank you. And then we'll open Audacity. It, it very cleverly uh, made it look like the same file name that of the weird sound that always plays. Don't look at the crap on my desktop. All right. My desktop's a mess and I'm ashamed. Just 
Can I make it louder here? Like, is my computer super turned down? All right, so I think it is different versions of the same notes, the same four notes like last time. Um, which again, means I could just brute force it. <laughs> You're gonna be like, all right, it's four notes. There's only so many notes we can, it's like breaking one of those combination locks. Uh, I don't wanna do that. Uh, so I need something that will uh, identify these notes for me. Uh, Identify notes from audio. Oh my god, I have all these like crappy apps and stuff from trying to do stuff like this. No, no, I don't want to trial. It's not going to work right. It's going to be a whole thing. No, no. I don't want to enroll, no! <laughs> I... Let's go to Quora. Any software using MIDIs can identify the notes. Can Audacity just do it? Because man, that would be ideal. G-strings? Alright. I trust you. Uh, let me get another. G strings app. Cool. Purchases and apps through what? Purchase. Ah, oh, crap. Only app is still. Okay, whatever. Go. This thing takes forever. Is it on my computer now? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Probably should have saw that coming. <laughs> oh. It, it did it go to my phone? Is that what just happened? If it did, that's creepy. I don't think it's on my phone magically. What? Maybe it is. And actually, I think it just jumped onto my phone. Yeah, there it is. Creepy. <laughs> yes, I think I should allow you to re record audio. Oh. Check my own. La. That's a perfect D note. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I'm going to try to play this now. See what I get. I don't think it's loud enough. Try this real quick. Effect. Amplify. Be louder, damn it. Mm -hmm. 
What is the, so let me just listen to this last few notes here. How about, can I just play one note? It's telling me this is an E. Saying F. This is so dumb. Give me another note. Give me another note. EFD. EFDC is what this is saying. All right, I'm going to try to do this as quick, quickly as possible. EFDC. All right. And then, because we are way, well, well over time right now. Uh, where's my letters? Let me get out of here. Thank you. We go back 12 now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So it's S, T, R, and then be two more because it's C, Q. STRQ. And then we'll caps lock this, STRQ, and we'll make that wing dings, and that's going to be the answer. It's going to be all clear to us. We got surprisingly a lot of the same. A lot of the letters in DEF are the same letters we just got. No sun plane. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, I think we're making good progress here. Uh, I'll play the song for you guys one more time in case you guys need to listen to it and I'll be quiet. Those might be completely different notes. <sighs> I need to be able to take this audio and upload it and then get the notes that way. That's just what needs to happen uh, for this. So we have the notes. The idea is that we need to get the note from this like we did in level 18 then need to shift it but backwards, but instead of one, shift it over 12, and then do something with wingdings. That is the current strategy, but that is also all the time I have here. So if you have an idea of what I should be doing next, leave it in the comments below, and uh, maybe we'll solve this uh, next week here on Not Prawn, and uh, we'll have to go on hiatus again. Hmm. But thank you so much for watching. We stream this every Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in case you want to join me live. I also stream every single weekday at 3.30. Join me Wednesday for Flash Games, Thursday for Black Watchmen, which is similar to Not Prawn, uh, Friday for Puzzle Party, and Monday for Lisa, the painful RPG, which, of course, 
you can join the campaign if you'd like. Uh, also, starting September 15th, join me for Conquest, a plus two comedy game show at 8 p.m. right here on Twitch. That's plus two comedy. And be sure to subscribe to plus two comedy gaming so you can catch up on all my past live streams. And I will see you next time.